I am I'm not a farmer, I'm not an agroecologist, I'm mm -hmm. a, a, a former physicist and now systems theorist. And I wrote several books about systems thinking, which means thinking in terms of relationships, in terms of connectedness, in terms of context. Uh, my last book is called The Systems View of Life. I wrote it together with an Italian biologist, Pierluigi Luisi, and it was just published by Cambridge University Press. And uh, this is a view of life based on relationships, self-organization, complexity, evolution, and so on. And we apply this to discuss the major problems of our time, because the major problems of our time are systemic problems. They are all interconnected. They cannot be solved in isolation. What we need is systemic solutions, which are typical solutions that solve several problems at the same time. And in the book, I present agroecology as a systemic solution par excellence. We have heard in these very impressive presentations how agroecology is related to so many things, to energy, to community, to climate change, to health, and health of people, health of the soil, uh, ecosystem health, uh, to social justice, to, to economics. And uh, why is agroecology uh, and food in general related to so many things? Well, food is at the very center of life. The, the systemic definition of biological life is metabolism. Metabolism is the intake and transformation of food. So whenever you talk about life, sooner or later you will talk about food. And uh, we can use, I think we can use agroecology not only to solve so many of the world's problems, but also to interconnect with so many other social organizations. If you want to revitalize a community, a major part of the solution is agroecology. If you want a healthier economy, agroecology. If you want, of course, healthy food, healthy people, healthy soil, uh, soil. but also if you want to fight, to fight climate change, agroecology is the only method that is able to draw down CO2 from the atmosphere. No other technology can do that. So obviously, you know, it's an important tool in fighting uh, climate change. And so I think we can use agroecology to connect with the whole civil society, with all these other social organizations. Thank you. Yeah.